What is going on everybody, Mr. Burger here, back with another song reaction video, and this one is another viewer requested song. This one coming from Gary Lati, I apologize if I mispronounced that name. Um, and they say, great reaction video. Okay, if you want to have your socks knocked off and folded and put away, check out Love Bites. They are another all-female band from Japan, but they play heavy metal. Their lyrics are in English with a Japanese accent. Their song, Thunder Vengeance, is a, the lead-off song to a concert, so I think that would be a good beginning. Hold on to something. Now, first of all, thank you, Gary, for the suggestion for this song specifically, but we did also have a lot of other suggestions across the board uh, for Love Bites, so thank you all who did suggest me check them out. Um, so yeah, like he said, this is a live performance. It looks like from 2020, so July 2020. Okay, so this was only actually from a few months ago. Um, was this one. So this should be interesting. He said that they, I guess, do sing in English compared to bandmate who mostly sing in Japanese. So we may actually understand what they're saying in this. Which, again, is not an issue at all. I... The last bandmate song that I listened to, Secret My Lips, I've listened to it multiple times every day since I reacted to it. I really liked that song a lot, and I can't understand what they're saying in that. Still a really good song. Um, but this one may be a bit easier to understand, I guess, if it is does have some English in it. Um, but so before we get into this, guys, if you haven't already and you feel so inclined, please drop a like on the video, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon, and comment down below if there are any other videos or songs, I should say, that you would like for me to react to. So without further ado, this is Love Bites, Thunder Vengeance, live at Zep Driver City, Tokyo from like four months ago. <laughs> I see where the thunder is coming from the title. Oh, that's a cool logo. That's a really cool logo. Dude, that drum is just getting me hyped. I mean, right off the bat, oh wait, oh. Right off the bat, they are very technical <laughs> in their instruments and stuff, wow. They are all really good at <laughs> each of their instruments. Wow, and that, definitely a heavy song. That is definitely heavy. <laughs>
Yeah, I... I can't honestly tell if they're speaking in English or Japanese, because I still can't understand what they're saying. Um... But I can... She's really good. Like, I can tell she has a really good voice. I'm just having issues understanding what she is. So if she is speaking in English, she definitely has a very strong Japanese accent, which isn't a bad thing. Um... I'm, I mean, still, just as a whole, this is really, really good still, regardless. think they might be about to solo here i hope so. I, I hope they solo in this song because already like they are fantastic musicians all of them um and i really want to hear them solo and i think they might be about to Dude, that was a really cool solo. Yeah, they are... Dude, I gotta say, like, just what few stuff I've heard from Japanese rock bands, they are so good. I was like, prior to, like, reacting to some of these songs, the only other one that I'd really heard was, um... Let Me Hear from Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas, which I only heard that song because it was the theme intro song to Parasite the Maxim. And then I heard one song just in a store randomly by One OK Rock that I believe that they're a Japanese group. But they were definitely speaking, it was definitely uh, more pop punky than all of this. And I think they more so were speaking with, you know, in English more so than Japanese. At least the song that I had heard. Um, but those are really my only two experiences with Japanese rock or music really of any kind. Um... So these are these are really really cool. Seeing just how technically um, talented, I guess you could say, that these bands are coming out of Japan.
Wow. Man, yeah, that was really good. Um, I wonder then if that was from 2020. I'm curious. Oh no, this was recorded in February. Okay, yeah, so this recording just, or like the whole concert just comes out and came out in July, but the concert was recorded back in February. Okay, that makes much more sense. <laughs> um, but yeah, that was really, really cool. Um, super talented, super technical. Um, yeah, I think I at least have one other song on there currently on my list of uh, songs to listen to from them. I hope I get more because I more than because I really really liked that song a lot and I would love to hear more from them. So that will be it for today guys. Thank you guys all so much for coming out. Um, thank you again to Gary for the suggestion for this song specifically as well as all others who have suggested Love Bites. Like I said, keep those suggestions rolling in, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Take care.